that was beautiful. And that was artist Mike Anuzzi independently who released three consecutive iTunes top 100 singles and performed nearly 300 live shows around the Bay Area just last year. Here to tell us more about his tour dates and his new music is singer Mike Anuzzi. Mike, thanks so much for joining us. Thank you so much. It is an honor and a, such a pleasure to be on the couch with you live in the Bay today. Thank you. I'm so excited to have that release. It was the third independently released uh, top 100 single that I did. Let Me Show You Tonight came out on March 1st. Uh -huh. And uh, it, it's just a testament to what like the Bay Area has to offer and the vitality of the music scene. Uh, the support from all the fans and all the venues that bring me out. The Bay Area has so much to offer. It's, it's, it's so it's such an honor being here to showcase that. Oh, man. Well, we are so honored to have you here with us today, Mike. And actually, before we get started, I heard that a special <laughs> somebody is watching this show. Mr. Joe, your father, right? My Shout man. out to Joe. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching us and supporting. We're grateful to have Mike with us. And look at what a wonderful young man that you have raised. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. So let's talk about you and your talents. When did you first get started as an artist, Mike? As an artist? Well, I've been doing this full time for nearly 20 years, actually. Um, um, so I, I watched my dad play accordion growing up and I, I knew it was possible to learn how to play an instrument and showcase it to everybody. I started writing songs at a very early age and had some uh, success with radio and then I hopped on some tours. I've been fortunate. I've been around to 48 states of the 50 wow, in the 40. U.S. and I uh, had some great radio support here in the Bay Area um, and played a lot of venues locally. I went to Cal Poly San Luis Obispo, which is another great hub for my music, and I've been able to perform at a lot of the venues there. Um, and then I got onto Bottle Rock Napa, which opened a huge door and opportunity to uh, perform at the great venues that Napa has to offer. <laughs> Recently, That's I just huge. yeah, it was huge and 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 a beautiful music scene. Um, and then recently, I just purchased a home up in Lake County, so I'm able to go expand the community of music up in uh, Clear Lake, beautiful Clear Lake. So yeah. it's it's just such a beautiful thing to be able to showcase uh, something that you love as a career. That is so true. Yeah. I and I definitely reiterate that sentiment because <laughs> I'm sitting here doing it right here with you. You know, your passions when they when they kind of form into your purpose. That is such a beautiful entanglement. I love, I love yeah. that word. So so funny entanglement, but it's true. You know, and for you, so incredible the things that you've doing. You've had three top 100 iTunes hits yeah. with your latest music. Did you expect that? Man, I, I think it's just a testament to the fans. And I, I truly am so grateful for that. Um, you know, releasing any song, it comes from your head. It comes from your writing it pen to paper or whatever it is. And then sharing it with somebody, it's, it's a very vulnerable thing. But when a fan likes it, it's, yeah. it means the world, you know? Yeah, because so, you put your heart three in times, Three times in a row, I'm so blessed. Oh, my goodness. So. Absolutely. Well, congratulations. That is such, you know, a, a huge accomplishment for you as an artist. But that's not where it stops, you know? The accomplishments just keep coming. You've performed at over 300 locations yeah. this past year. What's coming up next for you? Well, I'm going to continue performing on a regular basis, which, again, it's the testament to the Bay Area music scene. It's thriving. There's so much talent here. There's so many venues and opportunity to showcase that. Um, I perform every night, every Monday night in Palo Alto at a great Italian restaurant called Tarun. Mm -hmm. And every uh, Tuesday and Wednesday, I'm live at a loft at, in uh, Cupertino and Sunnyvale. And and then uh, I play at Drake's in San Carlos and Delizia in San Carlos on a very regular basis. Now, that's how I've sustained a career in music. And I am so grateful to these places that bring me out. Mm -hmm. And then I get excited when I see myself on TV live <laughs> in the Bay. And it's like, yeah. what is this life? It's yeah. it's. It's such an honor. Oh, man. Well, we are so honored to have you here and just be sharing your music. It's clearly a gift. It's clearly something beautiful that so many people have received. What What is some of the feedback that people have said about your music? Yeah. I mean, uh, so lately, it, it's kind of funny. When I, when I released a recent song in 2020, it was around this time in 2020. I was so excited. I was on a tour with a great uh, artist out of Nashville called Love and Theft. Um, terrific band. And... Uh, 
And then all of a sudden, everything shut down, and I didn't have any sales on that song. It was like four or thirty, or it was irrelevant, you yeah. know. And it was something that I, it, as you release music, you really work for months to get it out. Mm -hmm. um, and then this time, I kind of took a shift. I sent off some of the music to Nashville, um, a great studio called the Ruckus Room. They've done everybody's stuff in Nashville, and uh, just Jamie Tate took this music to a new level. Um, I actually played all the instruments on the recording. I mixed it in my own home what? studio, and then I sent it off to Jamie, and he created such a masterpiece out of the sound, and it was really kind of what I was thinking. Yeah. He translated to audio. Well, a man so. of many talents. One more time, congratulations. <laughs> but tell me again about this latest single that people can check out now. Yeah, Let Me Show You Tonight is available now on all platforms. You could stream it, you could watch it on YouTube, or you could go to iTunes and support and keep that push going. Uh, I was the only independent artist that hit the top 100 on that day. And I was around. Congrats. Come oh, on. Thank you. Come on. That's amazing. It's such an honor. And I, again, it, it's a testament to all the fans. So Yeah. So shout out to the fans. Yeah, well, thank you for making fans. beautiful music. Shout out to your father, <laughs> Joe. Thanks for tuning in and creating an amazing human being. And keep inspiring people, please. Thank You're you, awesome. Olivia. Thank you, you too. Thank you so much, Mike. We appreciate it. Thank you. Of course.